lot of talk lately about slower growth uh, throughout the world, including Asia. We've told people for a long time, if you're worried about slower growth in Asia, don't be. The biggest reason that growth is slowing is because incomes are going up. And to that extent, slower growth is a good thing, not a bad thing. Every place throughout Asia, as economies start from low income levels and rise up, uh, you get rapid growth. But as their incomes go up, the growth rates go down, whether it's Japan, whether it's Korea, whether it's Taiwan, Singapore, you name it. The other reason that growth is slowing is because population growth is slowing down. Not only that, but populations are getting older. And you put those two together, and what it means is that working age population growth, labor force growth, is slowing much more rapidly than population growth is overall. And that is the second key factor behind slower growth in Asia. Slower population growth is not necessarily a bad thing. What we care about is income per person, not income in the total. Per person incomes continue to go up very rapidly, and that is good for everybody. The amount of growth that Asia puts out every year is equivalent to putting an entire Germany on the map every three years. If it takes three years to put a Germany on the map today, five years from today, it's only going to take two and a half years to do that. Five years after that, it's only going to take two years to do that. If you're worried about uh, Asia losing its importance, its role in the global economy, don't be worried. Asia will be even more important five years from today and even more important than that five years after that.